I had to go through this, you have to go through this. You have to watch the whole video because this game is bad. This is top game, worst game contender. We it's so bad we had to bring him back. That's right. Guys, thank you for your support. Thank you to G Fuel for getting us our own flavor. This one really helped on this bad game. Triple A, grab your own tub. 30% off right now. I hope you are ready to enjoy this yelling fest. Headphone user warning. Enjoy. Until the next time. Check it out. <laughs> I'm a vampire. Ow! Wait a minute! That was the fucking boss! Are you kidding me, Arcane? What the actual fuck is going on here? Who the hell am I? Why do I have these weird superpowers? Are you going to explain that? Why is everything so goddamn easy? What is happening? I, I don't understand. I don't understand what's happening. for you, Phil. I want to make a lot of money uh -huh. you know, uh -huh. you know, yeah, So with the Activision deal under fire, you need more people to adopt the Game Pass? Yeah, we just want to make a lot uh -huh. of money. And, uh, make money. Uh -huh. Oh, I think I can help you. <laughs> for a price. How about standard price? What? Standard price. Standard price? Yeah. Oh, no, Mr. Spencer. I want twice what I did for uh, you last time. Uh, all right, all right. All right, then. Here's what we do. We take a bad game from a studio of yours, and I'm talking awful, barely playable, not worth a tenth of a normal AAA title. We're talking bad graphics, awful gunplay, a piece of shit UI, miserable story and characters, and terrible music. You, you know, I don't know, te techno, jazz, pop trash, with, with I guess a, a few spooky strings here and there. And then we mark it up to $70. Yes, 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 up to $70. But then, but then we make it free with your little Game Pass. That way, anyone with half a brain will sign up for Game Pass. And then, and then they'll forget to cancel like everyone always does with all subscriptions. <laughs> that pretty good. What about the other people? The, the other people? The geniuses that were presenting a deal were simultaneously scamming them. Morons are gonna actually give 70 bucks for something worthless, and we can even charge $100 to people even stupider than that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Arcane, the, uh, the reputation of the studio. Phil, <laughs> I'm an evil, soulless, corporate genius. Not a miracle worker. <laughs> Someone has to be thrown to the wolves if we're gonna make some goddamn money. You done fucked it up. Yeah, it says host. host left the match. What an easy concept. A fucking zombie game only with vampires instead of zombies. How do you screw that up? Well, apparently royally, if you're Arcane Austin, what a massive pile of shit. It has been a long time since I played a game this bad. I crashed. I skipped them. No, you didn't. You're God damn it! God fucking damn it! Not since the days of Ride to Hell! Say something! <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> 21 hours?! Oh my god, what was this guy thinking?! Mind Jack! My... Mind... Is... 
Or Sonic Free Riders. <laughs> Are we done yet? We had no less than 27 crashes between all four of us. Stupid enough to try to play through the game all the way through over multiple days. Can't play one more than one fucking mission without the fucking thing crashing every fucking five seconds. And that's not an exaggeration. We had 27 fucking crashes. Fuck this piece of shit. Here. Failed to connect. Huh? Host left the match? Failed to connect. Okay. What'd you do? And now I'm looking at, I don't know, my crotch? It clearly was not ready for any sort of mass consumption. Yet here it is, released as one of the Xbox's awesome exclusives. What a colossal fuck up. Wait, That's fucking 11 crashes now! I'm not gonna take a fucking 12! I swear to God, if you fucking crash one more fucking time, that's it. No more! Worse, it's from a studio that's otherwise known for high quality titles. Arcane Austin! Titles like Dishonored, Dishonored 2, and the critical darling, 10 out of 10, IGN, and every other game journalist's favorite games, Deathloop. A new high watermark for Arcane and developers of similar games to aspire to, Deathloop is a game like no other. Oh, and you bet your ass they touted their accolades every freaking trailer. Um, so Arcane is known for excellent story and gameplay. Like you guys make some really magical games that just bind those two together so well. It becomes more and more party-like, of course. It's, a, it's mm -hmm. our probably our closest to being a party game, you know. <laughs> um, but um, yeah. Thanks for coming by, Harvey. Yeah, thank you. We can't wait to hear more about Redfall soon. For me, Redfall represents our most ambitious title that we've tried to do here in the Austin studio ever. Redfall used to look like it was straight out of a postcard. And now they lay this turd? <laughs> Where are you going? I'm right here. You should be fucking ashamed. And I want my money back. This thing is a fucking sh hole. It sucks. This is the fifth time we've had to go to the fucking main menu to fucking play with our fucking friends. And yes, I did get it on the game pass. So I want my $15 back for this month for putting me through this now, please. You know, drive over there and yell at him. Hey! Arcane Austin! Get my money back! I see your asses in there! I see you through the You! Bruce! Gary! I bet Janitor opened the door and gave me my $70. I can't imagine if anyone actually bought it at retail full price, because some people can forget from time to time, it is criminal that this is even being sold at that price. Full $70, as if this is true next gen. Just saying, no harm in being cautious. Okay, we're not strong enough to break open crates. Is this closed for you, OJ? Yes. Oh, so my, my game does Someone not load doors. It's so next gen that they had to slap a sticker on the back of the fucking box because it couldn't even handle 60 frames per second that it promises. There it is. 60 FPS performance mode not available at launch. Because <laughs> it says on the box 60 frames per second, which would be false advertising, which means they would get sued what the fuck is that not confirmation that your game is not finished and that's not counting the abomination of a hundred dollar edition where you get a what what do you get a, a steel book case a fucking patch 
Four skins? Two DLC heroes in the future? Are you fucking kidding me? That has got to be the worst value special edition ever! This game is a hundred fucking dollars! Redfall bike back edition, the game bites back because it's a piece of shit. It's filled with bugs, filled with bed bugs biting you. Bite back, hundred dollars. Bite your fucking wallet. Considering the rancid diarrhea this fucking thing turned out to be. Hell, even if it was good, that would still be a crap deal. Oh, fuck. <laughs> they got the mold they people can't catch me. <laughs> Gotta keep moving, man. <laughs> God damn it, Joe. <laughs> So what is Redfall exactly, right? Is it like a cool vampire version of Left 4 Dead as it initially seems? Nope. It's, uh, it's, it's, I don't know, it's apparently it's more like Far Cry, as the devs like to say themselves. So you've specified that Redfall will be more like Far Cry than Left 4 Dead. So how will that be reflected with replayability once players beat the story? I, I guess because it's somewhat open world and you pull your map up in front of your face before you fast travel, other than that, it doesn't really have a lot else in common with Far Cry, a far better franchise. Wait, you have a door release? That doesn't exist on my screen. Here? I opened it. I know. That's weird. Whatever. You should be outside playing in the sunshine instead of watching this bullshit. The game doesn't even have the fucking effort to real cutscenes. We got them all. What? These are the cutscenes. Fucking cheap ass. Are you serious? What are we doing here? Just have them move. You have all the characters. Just, just move. We just got it guy playing the bongos naked what is your major malfunction little brother instead everything is told via these single frame collages what the fuck god damn it now i understand what you meant by babylon's fall this this is babylon's fall cutscene so no that don't sit right with me they're using the local radio station to lure folks to the shipyard. You should be outside playing in the sunshine instead of watching this bullshit. They'd use the actual in-game models, but they were too fucking lazy to actually move and animate them. Every single cutscene before a major mission is like this, and it reminds you how little effort and how awful the game story is. <sighs> it's not... <laughs> It's the fucking still images again. I thought it was gonna be moving pictures. Do you know what a fucking movie is? Arcane! It is not still images. It is moving images. I know, it's lame, isn't it? <laughs> Hollow Man is just some guy from the clinic? I guess they're ma they're realizing the game is lame too. It's like a rough draft of a story, a first idea, but just banged out without any revisions. Vampires take over a small town. W why the government doesn't just attack them with a fucking military, or I don't know, nuke them from orbit, it's just ignored. I should have died too because uh, My ex boyfriend isn't doing anything. Of the gas station is daylight. Oh shit, it is gay. It is daylight. <laughs> Did the game forget about the whole, their fucking yeah, about their own story? Their own story. I don't know. She was chasing me. I was like, what the fuck? It's daylight. <laughs> daylight, bitch, get back in there. <laughs> Occasionally, the game will delve out story bits in game through stupid fucking notes left littered all around the fucking place. And when I mean littered all around, I mean every fucking where with the most stupid mundane messages of all time. Faces extinction in the face of university budget cups and the looming Y2K fears. Without new funding, 1999 will likely be the annex year's last year of operation. Graduate students are already...
It's already what? That's where it is. What? What did I catch it? What are you saying? <laughs> I was telling you about the meteorological studies and what the fucking <laughs> revolution of the Doppler radar technology has done for this center. What? What? I don't get it. What is happening? Seriously, this is the best effort? No, I'm done. This is ridiculous. I, I, I can't do this. Hello, gamer. What seems to be the problem? What seems to be the problem? Yeah. You don't fucking see? There's 500 fucking problems. Just look around. Well, first off, I mean, the biggest one is the fucking story. Where is the goddamn story? Who the fuck am I? What is happening? Oh, it's right here. A trash can. A fucking trash can. This is a trash can. Look, fucking garbage. It's garbage. Well, look, this garbage has a message for you. Here, read that. Attention, citizens of Redfall. There are vampires here. Ah! Ooh, that's spooky scary, isn't it? No, it's fucking not. Well, we also added some humor. Here, check that one out. This one just says fart. <laughs> oh man, I love fart. The Zoomers are gonna love this. Another mega hit for Arcade! None of it even relevant to the fucking story at hand. And, and that's if you can even interact with the fucking interactables, because those will often stop working randomly. Eva, Eva this, this one this one doesn't read. This this note won't open. Joe, read this note. Can't open it. Can you open it? Yes. Alright, we'll see Joe's screen. <laughs> What's it say? <laughs> I went ahead to take some of those toys from the tower storage to Golden View <laughs> Mobile community by the shipyard i <laughs> hope that something that's something off your plate okay now when i try to open it oh okay well, that's cool there are times where you'll find a story memory god i hate this fucking trend in games where you sit there and watch two static character models just stand in place and narrate what happened before as if the still fucking frame cutscenes weren't enough this whole fucking game story is told this way, and all of it, all of it is fucking boring. You wanted to speak with me? These psychic echoes suck. Thank you for meeting with me. I appreciate it, Doctor. I, uh, well, I talked with some of the other orderlies, and we keep hearing this knock, is it? Oh, oh, of course, yes. Pipes. <laughs> I'll let everyone know. Wow, I really needed to know that information. Isn't that weird? And what do I say when you hear my voice? This is so fucking painful. Not a single meaningful connection is established between the player and the game's world. There is no urgency to do anything. There is no compelling narrative. There's no fucking nothing. No. I hear a vampire sighing. He's sighing? Because <laughs> he's yes. in the game. Uh, <laughs> of all the games to be in this one. <laughs> I gotta go get him. <laughs> so, the story is shit. How is the actual gameplay loop? <laughs> well, you're supposed to fight vampires with friends. Only every enemy in this game employs an absolutely brain-dead AI system, only capable of the most basic of tasks. On top of that, Arcane is known for AI mm -hmm. that is sight and hearing based. And so even if your game <clears throat> is not a hardcore stealth game. Having an AI that's like that just generates gameplay. It's Yay. like that kind of AI is what we do, whether it's Prey or Deathloop or Dishonored or Redfall. Um, no matter what the rest of the structure of the game is, that gives you a lot of dynamic gameplay right there. It's procedural in nature, you know. Yeah, towards the lighthouse. Joe, do you have nothing that kills oh, yeah, vampires? No! 
Zero drag is what? This way? Yeah, this way. I can't tell which way. Seeing spots! With the bugs. Get closer over here! Jesus, Joe. Are you kidding me with the fucking AI? He was just attacking you the whole time. Now he's confused! Because you went behind him, Joe! You are one sneaky motherfucker. That's all you gotta do, man. Oh my god. This I mean, fucking game, Sam. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> oh shit. Excuse you me. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Joe, he's just smiling. He's looking at you now. He's like, what would you want? What were we doing? Bite out your heart. Oh man. Oh no, Joe, he's gonna bite out your heart. Well shit. You gonna let him talk to you like that? On top of that, Arcane is known for AI mm -hmm. that is sight and hearing based. Worse, every fucking fight in this game AI. is exactly Good. the fucking same! Yeah, it's the same thing. They got some underbosses, so I'm sure. Oh my god, so on top of the shitty story, they're doing the repetitive mission design that, that, that Dead Island 2 suffered. Imagine playing a shitty fight and going, hmm, well, that wasn't very fun or challenging, but oh well, there's, there's gonna be some other variations. No! The first fight you do is basically what you will be repeating a hundred times over. It goes like this. Pick a mission from the mission board. You have to go to the mission board too. Everybody has to be there. Okay. Now we gotta wait for zero. God what? I'm here. I'm here though. It doesn't matter which branch you go down because there aren't actual branch paths, okay? They're fake branching paths. And, and you do a clear out enemies fight. Then you do a few more of those clear out enemy fights uh, until you get to the end of the branch path. Then progressing further is locked off until you open the safe houses of which you have to clear out enemies to do. Then when you open up the safe house, you go and open up an underboss mission by doing a clear out enemies mission. And then then you get to fight the area underboss, and the, here's an example of one of those missions. Let's check out this game's bosses. All right, here is the boss. Vampire Reach, the Night Manager. All right, you better be cool. Shoot him! Shoot him! Wow, what an awesome boss. That was a great boss battle, man. Oh, I missed it. I got a full necklace, bro. You missed the boss battle? <laughs> yeah. They're an absolute joke. Every single underboss is killed instantly, even on the highest difficulty. Where's the boss? He's waiting for us. Oh, dear. Boyfriend, do something. Oh, here's the boss, Curator Ghoul. I killed her immediately. I appreciate you sticking your neck out in this town. Guys, you gotta return to the fire station for the next mission. <laughs> Top 10 boss fights of 2023. So he drops a skull, and in order to progress to the final boss of an act, you need three underboss skulls. Yep, so that means three more safe houses with three more clear missions to get to the three more underboss missions! Okay, there's the, there he is, right? That's him right there, Billy. Yep. Billy Felch. And I shot <laughs> You did it! <laughs> <laughs> Y'all weren't shooting him before, right? You did it! Uh, nah, like we're just shooting it around the cold test and then he won't up damage you. So that boss went down in five seconds. That's how the bosses have all gone. Um, this is the highest difficulty, too. Now repeat this and act one, two, and three with no motherfucking deviation! That's the fucking game, and then it ends! They still have me. There's still path left to tread. No. No, <laughs> no there's not. Please, no. You will never get a budget to do anything related to Redfall ever again. And thank fucking God. I'm still out there. Good. You, you get will lost, never bitch. <laughs> ever subject players to that again.
There's no fucking way there's gonna be a red fall too. It's fucking awful. You should be ashamed of yourself. Absolute utter garbage. Oh, and I can't forget to mention that the final fucking boss of the game can be defeated by pressing the F button three times. The, literally the final boss mechanic was holding B three times. What? Untether that shit. The tether doesn't even attach to it. Yeah, it's... I don't know. There's a... For, for, for JJ? For no. who be busy? No! Charles? Elias! Elias! No! Stick that bitch! I got your ass. What's no. happening? I can't look at that direction. <laughs> ah, fuck. OJ, describe it to me. Oh, but she had half a whole health bar. What the fuck just happened? That was the most jank. I guess I so. when we untether, she loses life. That was dumb. <laughs> we did it. Oh, you don't we actually won. shoot that boss. We won. No. So they, f they fucked that boss battle up even more than all the other boss battles. Together. You son of a bitch! No, you piece of shit! <laughs> I'm not joking. The final boss is killed by pressing F. Pay your respects to this game's brutal death at the hands of the developer's complete laziness. I mean, they didn't even want to properly finish their own fucking climax. Why should we even bother? From the creators of Dishonored and Prey! Making each game different from the last, but we'll focus on deep world building and incentive game mechanics. <laughs> Deep world building. One day, vampires took over a town. Then they fought each other. The end. The greatest variation you will have is uh, if you piss off the vampire gods too much by killing enemies okay. or by setting off car alarms. I didn't even know you could actually uh, fast travel at Which those one? areas. Uh, Windy Stead, it's to the right of Founder's Knoll. Uh, it. Oh. The gods are watching me. The vampire guys got pissed off because of car alarm. Treasure. This is a fucking petty gods. Then they'll get mad at you and send Rook after you. Oh, Rook's fighting me. I can't go back. Mm. Oh, yeah, we can't. Fast Why? during Rook Storm. Oh, god damn it. Okay, Rook's dead. Let's Did go. Did you just kill him? Yeah, he, he is. He was up there with you? Yeah. He is. The Maritime. It's because we're on the hardest difficulty. That's why he was so tough. Yeah. But we are on the hardest difficulty. Yeah. Yeah, that's why it was so hard. <laughs> Who is stupidly easy to kill, but at least drops legendary loot towards the end of the game each time he's killed. You did it. As for the characters and their abilities, they're all fucking stupid. She left her stuffed rabbit in a church lost and found. I fucking hate the music in this game. That reminds me, I need to get more goat milk. Listen to this music. You need more goat milk or oat milk? No. Fuck! This is a DJ Mushmouth production. Like, no, I mean, put some respect you. on his name. She How dare you? Yeah. Put respect on his name. DJ Mushmouth would not even fucking make this bullshit. How much? How much? <laughs> How much? They suck! Each character is supposed to get, like, I don't know, two abilities and an ultimate, but when you get shit like an umbrella... I can't get out of this ability. stupid umbrella animation. <laughs> I'm just stuck with an umbrella. I can't take out my guns. I don't want to be this guy because... He sucks. Because I can't get out of this stupid umbrella spell. I can't even switch <laughs> to any of my guns. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's <running> running interference. <laughs> running interference. Just never ending spell power. Yeah, I, can, I can't take it off. I can't even, like, 
do anything else. Or an elevator. Being dead would bother me a lot more. I think you're so cool with your elevator. Yeah, I feel so powerful whenever a fight happens, and the, the only thing I can do is pu pull up an elevator or have an umbrella that doesn't do anything. A, a crow that <laughs> sounds like a robot. <laughs> Nothing to do with getting real, that's for damn sure. Blood suckers. It sucks. Let's go, chicken shit. And this guy's such a fucking asshole to his little bird. It's not endearing. It's just fucking stupid. Uh, fucking mines to blow your friends up all fucking game being a troll. It's as if I can't see him, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Excuse me, I Alex. I Mine's abilities are way cooler than yours. Yeah, yours is the best. I can't even, even see what the boss is. Can you not destroy all the goddamn fucking... Well, all the humans are dead. And of course, calling in your ex-boyfriend. Calling a favor from your ex-boyfriend, Jason, who happens to be a vampire. <laughs> that sounds stupid. Me, Jason. Is that your ex-boyfriend? Yeah. Oh, he's so cool. That, and then he disappears on you. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. That's why he's my ex. That's why you broke up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> stupid fucking guy. He doesn't even love me. I, I, I mean, God, these are just lame as fuck. What? OJ, what are you doing? We're under attack by vampires! No, Alex! What? Are you on the phone? One moment. Hey, Todd, it's it's me, Jennifer. Yeah, I, I know we're not together anymore, but um, can I ask for a favor? No, this is not a booty call. I'm not gonna let you smash. Joel! Let's go! I'm on the phone, I'm trying. We need help! We need reinforcements! Todd, you better come over here and do this, all right? I did stuff with you I've done with no one else. If you don't get your ass down here, I will tell your mom the real reason why you carved all those holes in the bar soap. Ugh! And I want to say that the loot is the best part of the game, but the guns you use, none of them are really all that fun. There's pistols, rifles, shotguns, standard shit. And then there's vampire stuff like UV light guns where you, you shine a light on them to, 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 to shine a light on them to death. You, you do turn them to stone, that's kind of cool. Eat UV rays. UV gun works good against the vampires. Somewhat. And there's a standard steak gun, which is really effective against pure blood vampires, but I mean, that's about all. Oh no, vampire. Gloria. <clears throat> that was intense. We got the key. We'll Destroy out. Gloria during the key to wellness was the achievement I just unlocked. I just got the key. Apparently that was a boss. <laughs> uh, I guess. I mean, the best part of the game is below average by today's standards. And the rest of the game? Well, the rest of the game is shit! But Captain Goof is dead. Done. Am I getting electrocuted? Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice I got one. you. One of us did Next time, trouble just let me die. I'm stuck on the fucking ladder. I can't go up or I can't go down. I ca I'm stuck. Constant T posing of characters. Do you see this guy's T posing, Zero? Sweet. I think he's supposed to be dead. <laughs> oh, he's wearing a red shirt for you? Right, right next you to the light. You a blue shirt for me? I got a green shirt. Excuse me, I got sir. A green. Excuse me, sir. Do you know where the fucking uh, zombies are at? Or, I mean, vampires, my bad. 
Oh my god, he's dead! Constantly getting stuck in the levels. Is this a joke? I'm still waiting for the punchline. No! <laughs> I can't. I'm stuck. Fuck! Alright, I just spent $4,000 to not get ammo. <coughs> oh my god. Two in a row failed. Bugs! Broken progress bars! Alright, back on. Defend this chick chickering substation until everybody get closer, uh, unless the mission is fucking broken! On the objective thing, it shows a different number. It shows 25%. Oh, it's just the UI part. Yeah, the, the UI is broken. 30%. Wow. Uh, It'd be nice if we had a map that's 65. Uh, I think the enemies have stopped spawning. Bethesda shit, DRM! Uh, Bethesda? Nobody fucking uses Bethesda! Took fucking an hour! Cause of fucking Bethesda not net! Fucking bullshit! And why is the screen smaller than it needs to be? Glitches galore! I think this guy's not moving. We killed them all. Oh, it makes the- Oh, it makes the whole game glitch. When you go into his body. Goes da 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 Oh yeah, well, what the wow. fuck? Frame rate drops constantly for this, for these shit graphics and crappy lighting. Damn, Joe, where'd you learn those moves? Michael Jackson. Damn, that's that might be a level above Michael. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can forward moonwalk. <laughs> Who's bad? I'm bad. <laughs> I'm bad. Real bad. <laughs> it's real bad. <laughs> and randomly, your sound will just stop working. Yeah, I don't hear any gunshots or anything. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I shot OJ in the head. He didn't even know. Nope, I did not. Um. Uh, that's fun. I think the game is broken. Huh? <laughs> oh, check it out. The no sound bug again. Because yep. the game is completely finished and totally done. No additional work necessary. It is in release state. This is embarrassing. A completely empty and repetitive world. It's uh, That's a powerful piece to me. It's like, wow, I feel like I'm in a living world. Yeah. Cool, I'm so glad this is an open world that I can explore nothing. And just run for hundreds of meters. Wake me up when I get there. Ugh. This game is just empty for no reason. I'd rather learn how to drift. Why why is everybody going in all random directions? Oh, because there's mount mountain mountains. Fuck mountains. Yeah, God damn it. I'm really excited about the setting of the town of Redfall. There there is no way up here. You <laughs> mountains is just padding time. <laughs> that's what they are for, man. I'm so tired. The whole fuck that's it, I'm right. Go around. <laughs> we don't want to go around. We just want to go straight line. With huge mountains in your way, literally padding for time. It's decades old gameplay what? with crap graphics. I, I, I don't know, and why are all the costumes furry shit? I, I don't get it. What the fuck? I, I guess costume? this is my werewolf skin, I guess. This is stupid. Oh, you get to be a furry. That's good. Look, even if they polished the hell out of it and fixed all the bugs, it still would be a bad game. Completely boring and not worth its $70 purchase price for all of the reasons I detailed here. It never challenges you, never lets you be creative. It is slapped together in the worst way and pushed out the door. 
This could have been a cool idea. A zombie game, only instead of zombies, you kill fucking vampires. Hell, make a game with both vampires, zombies, and werewolves. That, that would put in some variation that this game sorely lacks. And this just ain't it, Chief. And, and at this level of quality, if this is what we're gonna see from Bethesda and Microsoft in their partnership going forward, we are totally fucked. Hell, even Phil himself had to apologize for this piece of shit. I'll start, not, I'll, I'll, hit, I'll hit Redfall, but I'll just say all up, um, there's nothing that's more difficult for me than disappointing the Xbox community. Just to kind of watch the community lose confidence, be disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I'm upset with myself. Uh, I, I kind of make it, revisit our process. You know, I think back to the announcement of 60 frames per second, and then we weren't shipping 60 frames per second. That was kind of our punch in the chin, rightfully, uh, a couple weeks ago. And then seeing the game come out and the critical response was not what we wanted. Um, and it's, it's, it's disappointing. Oh, well, we never got a fucking peep from Arcane Austin themselves. Redfall is our effort to take what Arcane does well, a hybrid of uh, first person games and RPGs, and stretch ourselves a little bit. Uh, does this work in the open world? Does it work both solo and with co-op players? Uh, can we take all our narrative layers and our improvisational mechanics and our style um, and spread that out across an open world. I kept waiting for some kind of statement, some kind of admission of guilt or, or semblance of remorse or sorry, but nope, business as usual over there. Something that's also been nice about the vampires being the, the antagonists is that they're not mindless. They're not just let me run and eat your brain, right? right. So they're actually thoughtful. They are a bit more of a predator. Uh, and also humans are terrifying, right? So the cultists and Bellwether are, they're, they're, they're also more tactical. So yeah, they take cover, you know, they flank you, all those good things. Well, the, the other thing is like... Yeah, they take cover, you know, they flank you, all those good things. Yeah, they take cover, you know, they flank you, all those good things. It took a ton of bad decisions to get a game to this point, and it's all laid bare here. Play testing? What play testing? There's no fucking way a damn person at that studio played this game before release and said, yup, we're proud of this one. Shame on you, Arcane. Shame on you, Bethesda. Oh, did I crash? What the fuck's happening? I did. Failed connect. Yeah. Oh, shit, I just opened the door. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck. And how the hell do you make a co-op game where the progress only saves yeah, in just the host save file? So all the torture that you went through is rendered useless in your own game. Just another casualty of modern gaming. You expected this feature to work? Sounds like you haven't heard of a little thing called modern gaming. We'll fix it later, well fuck that. And we're gonna get an ever increasing amount of these pieces of unfinished corporate garbage like this until we put an end to this bullshit, finish it later mentality. Stop supporting these AAA developers who do this and instead support more indie developers. Hell, I wanna go back and play more Dead Island 2 rather than subject myself to more of this crap. I beg Joe for the next zombie game if this is what it's like to play a vampire game. Hey Joe. You wanna play a vampire game? Ah! The final verdict for Bethesda and, and Microsoft's Redfall is a fucking two! A fucking two out of ten! I hated all 12 hours I had to play. It's shit gameplay, shit story, shit character, shit graphics, shit performance, and shit shit. Only for the most brain dead of looter shooter fans who will accept and literally play anything. What motivation do you have to tell us it's fine, it's but needs fixes? Yeah. If it needs fixes, how is it fine? <laughs> you fuck! Use your brain! So tired of people accepting garbage. 
is barely playable. You're telling me the same team that made Dishonored and Dishonored 2 made this piece of shit. What the fuck happened to you? Arcane, you're embarrassing my city. You're embarrassing my city. From a triple A studio that was getting eights and tens like candy, this is unacceptable. I'll get I'll give you the fucking two after you give me the stability patch. Oh, shit, and it only shit. gets those points for having, I don't know, a vampire concept and basically all the other small, tiny, all right pieces like the environment assets, the blood trances, they're cool environments. That's about it. The asset modelers did their job. You know, uh, the, the shit that the artists worked their asses off to have the rest of the team just shit all over. But man, I'm even more pissed because I had to stop playing Star Wars Jedi Survivor so I could finish this piece of trash. I never want to play this broken piece of shit again. I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe show. If you excuse me, I'm going to try to get everybody's money back. Hey Joe, you wanna play a motherfucking vampire game? Are you fucking serious? We added some humor too. Check this one out. This one just says forked. <laughs> that gets me every time. <laughs> God damn it! You stupid fuck! That was a perfect take. <laughs> I fucked it up. I can't see you. got the trash all over me. Ugh. Fuck. No. 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 I'm a vampire. I am a vampire. I say that. Alright, he's coming. We're gonna be dead by then! Oh, hey, Todd.